What's up, double A gang? I'm fighting and raring to go. Bang, bang. Let's do this. In this video, I am telling you the four worst ways to lose belly fat. Don't even get me started on these. You better stick around because it's going to get heated in here. Here we go. Quick interim, if you look up here, I've got some video footage of my free fat loss video course, my weight loss calorie calculator, as well as my home weights guide that you can download. The links are in the YouTube description, the first ones. And I know I can hear you. You want to be part of the AA gang? That's absolutely fine. It'll be a pleasure to have you. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because five videos per week are more how-to videos where I teach you about how to have the correct nutrition, the correct approach to training, so you can develop a lean toned physique or achieve the body that you'd like to get by losing body fat, building muscle around your current lifestyle so you're not having to sacrifice going out for a drink with your friends or eating fast food. It can be done fitting it around your lifestyle. And then two videos per week, my Road to the Game series as well as my Lean Bolt Full Days of Eating. I'll link the playlists in the YouTube description so you can watch previous episodes. They're following my journey to eventually becoming a CrossFit athlete to compete at the CrossFit Games as well as following my journey to becoming an Olympic sports nutritionist now these are my four worst ways to lose belly fat and don't get me started man we're gonna fall out i'm joking but if you do these though you need to correct these the first worst way to lose fat is by just focusing on getting abs the first worst way to lose fat is just by focusing on abs training Training abs is absolutely fine because you need to develop a strong core region. You can do that with compound movements like the squats and deadlifts because you're having to really engage your core there. But I am a big believer in doing direct ab exercises like toes to bar and the plank is my favourite when you do it weighted because you're really having to develop that inner core strength and you're able to get some more 3D looking abs. I definitely am a believer in that. But to be honest, you can see loads of workouts out there that says 15 minute ab workout, 8 minute ab workout. Do this three times a week and you will have abs. No. A lot of these workouts are just body weight normally. And it's like with any muscle group, when you train it frequently and consistently, you are going to build up the muscle tissue. But if there's a big layer of fat around it, then you're not going to be able to see it and you won't be defined as what people are wanting to look like. I'm not saying neglect abs training, but you really need to focus on losing body fat and weight correctly first. Maybe addressing your relationship with food or working out the amount of calories you need with my weight loss calorie calculator to start losing body fat today before you start doing loads of abs training you can do it at the same time but don't be somebody who just thinks that you're going to be able to get ripped abs by just doing abs exercises and not thinking at all about what you're eating you're just having a bit of pizza in there a bit of junk food maybe some healthy food from time to time but you're unaware of your calorie intake and it's likely that you're probably having more than you need the second worst way to lose fat is just by focusing on cardio. Why do people just do cardio? Minimum requirement recommended by the American College of Sports Medicine we referred to at uni when I was in the process of becoming a qualified nutritionist, which I am now, they recommend that the average adult does roughly 150 minutes of low to moderate cardiovascular activity per week. And that's equivalent to doing 70 to 75 minutes of more moderate to more high intensity activity. So RPE is between 8 and 10 out of 10. RPE just means the amount of exertion and effort you're putting into the exercise but I know a lot of people and clients especially who've come to me before they've started losing body fat properly is that they've just been trying to lose weight by doing cardiovascular exercise. The first problem with that is that you can get onto an elliptical trainer, then it says you've burnt 300 calories in 35 minutes, and you could easily gain that back by just having a pint of beer or maybe a pizza slice from Domino's, because those types of foods and liquids are very dense in calories. Plus what I usually find is that sometimes people can be very addicted to doing lots of cardiovascular exercise. So they do an hour and a half each day, burning, I don't know, about 800 to 900 calories calories and after that they're still being very strict with their diet so they're not taking in enough than they need to just even maintain their weight and they're burning all these extra calories so what happens but their body starts to go into more starvation mode we call it it tries to retain as much fat as possible just to keep bodily functions going because they're having so little calories but 
that happens usually after roughly one to two weeks so if somebody's been doing this for a long time and the body's having to start to get used to maintaining its weight on 1000 calories they would initially drop weight and then the endocrine system won't be working as well they'll be feeling more lethargic and then the body's going to be retaining as much body fat as possible and they even could get to a point where the body's having to produce energy by using muscle protein so therefore atrophy occurs then the person is more likely to experience injuries from doing specific activities activities they're not building up muscle mass at all so even though they're getting smaller they're still looking like they're actually gaining body fat even though they're losing weight and getting thinner just because they're losing muscle tone at the same time please don't fall down this route the third worst way to lose belly fat is by dieting mm -mm -mm. first problem a lot of diets out there tell you to just keep cutting calories down and keep on going down until you can't do any more and they don't give you additional guidance secondly diets out there tell you to not eat a certain food one diet may say avoid eating fat one diet might say carbohydrates are your enemy another diet might say just eat fruits and vegetables my problem is with these diets they don't give you enough education in regards to how to manipulate calories to incorporate refeed days and diet breaks effectively so you can lose fat properly not just lose weight lose weight happens as a result of losing fat they both occur at the same time but to keep the production of leptin the fat burning hormone high you need to be implementing refeed days and diet breaks when necessary these diets also don't promote a healthy relationship with food because they tell you to avoid certain macronutrients follow a flexible dieting approach as i've spoken about on this channel that's the best way to go the fourth and final worst way to lose fat is because your mindset is rubbish i'm not saying your mindset is rubbish but a common question i often hear is am i going to be able to have a lean toned physique and look ripped in two months this is usually coming from somebody who's not done weight training before and has not even considered dieting you've got to get out of this mindset of wanting a quick fix some of you might be doing some training years in the past so you would have developed more muscle tissue so it might be easier for you to get more toned in two months but usually it's people that are just beginning Beginning their fitness journey so don't be in this mindset that it's going to take me two three four months and then i'll be finished job done you need to get a good relationship with exercise dieting this all needs to be ongoing so you can maintain a healthy lifestyle keep your well-being high overall increase your physical health mental health and you'll feel really good for it then your physique is going to start changing as the years go on hope this video helps make sure you smash the like button it's great to have you as part of the double a gang as always i look forward to seeing you in my video tomorrow